Hello everyone, it's Paige here with another Animal Crossing Island Tour. In tonight's Island Tour, we're going to the Island of Pirouettes. And this is a magical, beautiful, pink-themed island. And of course, it's going to be so darling and sweet. And so I'm excited to share this island with you. The dream address will be linked down below in the description box and also her Twitter account. I saw her on Twitter and I just knew I had to share this island with everyone. It's so sweet. All right, so let's take a look at her flag first. The flags always tell us a little bit about the island and what it's going to be like. And there's our sweet little princess right there. We're gonna go say hello to her. Hello, my sweetie, come here. Come here. Why can't I catch her? Flavia, welcome, she says. Oh, she's so cute. I love her little bow and her dress. Okay, so going back up here, um, we're going to check out her map. The map is, okay, so we have Flavia is the resident here. And then we have Marina, Fluffy, Coco, Tasha, Goldie, Judy, Daisy, Shep, Maple, and Rolf. And I don't know if we'll be able to get down to her private beach because I don't have a ladder. So we'll just check out the island in the front and and the side and it doesn't look like the rest of her island on top is finished other than the campground and so this should be a really sweet short tour all right she's sneaking up behind me <laughs> okay look at her entrance oh my gosh look at her look at her entrance Okay, so the first thing I wanna talk about is this cute pink path. I will link this down in the description box below so that you can put this on your island if you want a pink fairy path. Her, her theme for the island, her flower theme is pastel and yellow and pink and white flowers. So peach, pink, and white flowers throughout. And then heading down this way, we've got a, a little spot here where you can check out a book at the tiny library. And of course, we have the flower cards. There's Coco. And this, I believe, is Shep's house. Just heading back this way on her beach. It's very simple and natural. Hello, Judy. Okay, so we've got a little pathway going back this way. Heading over the bridge. We have some villager houses over here. It's just a sweet little neighborhood. And look at the daisies. This should be called Daisy Island, just because it's so sweet and cute. And daisies are one of my favorite flowers. I love the garden lanterns. Those are so, look how they're back there too. That is such a nice touch. And the heart-shaped doily on the ground. Oh my gosh, this is a heart-shaped pond. I love the heart-shaped doilies. And look how the street lamps look just so perfect with this island. And this is a white, is this white? It looks like a white telephone booth. I always get excited about the white items. like. I think that the white street lamps are so pretty and also the um, 
white candy machine and the pink soda pop machine. I just want everything to be customizable. Here at the front, we have a wishing well. It looks like an Alice in Wonderland theme because you've got a clock here and the wishing well. And then here in the, also in the front is a cute little spot to sit and just have some tea or coffee. And then you have a picnic spot. Oh, there's that cute, that cute blanket. I love the pastel cute blankets. So you can sit right here and have the picnic with your friends. I'll also link this cute little blanket down below. And oh, I love the yellow flowers. I just love the yellow roses and, and daisies. Here's a first villager's house at the front. And then we have some more of the garden lanterns. Look at this heart on the path. That is so adorable. I just love that. And the cute little pillows, they're decorated so cute. Look at this star, the star um, bug catcher. And oh my goodness, look at this. That is so sweet. And the heart shaped path, how does she do that? Comment down below if you know how she did the heart shape path or the heart shape, this heart right here. I do not know how to do that. And then leading back here, we have Nook's Cranny. This is beautiful. Beautiful. And of course it's springtime because there's cherry blossoms floating through the, the air. More beautiful garden lanterns. And a nice place right here in front of Nook's Cranny for someone to sew some custom dresses with their little sewing box. Here's the pink soda machine I was talking about. And then heading up here is Flavia's house. Oh, this is so magical. Look how beautiful and magical this, look at this. It feels like we are in Paris. This is so pretty. Oh, I love that. The teddy bear with the music player. And she has a little garden. I wonder what she's growing here. It looks like corn and maybe some tomatoes and some cabbage or lettuce. Here's her cute little campground. Have you ever seen such a darling campground before? This is so, so cute. I love this custom path. And this goes down to the neighbors. Oh, look, a delicious, yummy picnic set out here in front of the museum. The museum is, is so cute and small. And here's a bakery. Oh, look at the cupcake. I just want to eat it. Oh, that is such a nice touch to have the bakery with the um, little chairs out front to eat your little, look at the cupcakes back there. Oh my goodness, this is so, so adorable and cute. All right, let's go back and head up to Flavia's house. I hope I can find my way. Okay, so we went by Nook's Cranny and then right up here is Flavia's house. Let's go inside. Hopefully she doesn't mind if we take a peek at her adorable, sweet little cottage. Ooh, it's beautiful. 
Look how pretty it is in here. <gasps> Look at this. It's so pretty. Oh my goodness. Oh, and her kitchen is absolutely to die for cute. I love it. I love the wallpaper. And I like how she put the garden chairs in here so it looks like a bar. And the carrot cake. Oh, that carrot cake looks so yummy. The KitchenAid mixer, making up a batter of cake mix or cupcakes. Oh, look at the fridge. She customized the fridge. That is super cool. Wow, how adorable. It just makes you wanna go home and decorate. Decorate your house all pink. Here's a really clean bathroom. So that's what you do with this wallpaper. I bought it because it was pink, but I didn't do anything with it because I was like, I don't know what to do with this. But it matches so perfectly with the shower. That is so fun. And there was light switches on the wall. Did you see those light switches on the wall? In here we have her craft, the crafting room. What the heck? I have never seen this craft table before. What? That is like so fun. And the bulletin board up above. What? I, for, I didn't know that was like, what? I didn't, seriously, I did not know that these two items were in the game. <laughs> Maybe I just haven't been paying attention. Oh my gosh, look how cute this little pink rug is. I love it. I want to take it home with me. We'll just roll it up and haul it away because <laughs> it's so cute. And this one's white. I have the pink one in my island, but I didn't know they had a white one. Oh, how magical it looks in here. <gasps> Look at those pictures on the wall. How did she do? do that like seriously that is so cool this looks so cozy doesn't it look so i like the towels at the end of the bed and the rat and furniture this looks like a real life house for real i love that wallpaper i love it all right we'll go slowly so you can take a look I'm gonna sit down, let's see, where's the sit down button? All right, so let's just take a look at this room. Is that, what, is that mint? That's a mint like desk. And then the cute closet. I like the bedspread on the bed. Even the clock looks like it's mint over here. But it's probably just the hue of the wallpaper making it look that color. That's pretty. I love the floor. The Sakura like cherry blossom floor. Okay. I'm gonna go down the basement and check out her basement. So, oh, she doesn't have a basement. 
Okay, never mind. All right, let's go. And there's Marina. Oh my gosh, she's so adorable. You're so adorable, Marina. This is such a nice touch with the garden lamp. The garden lamp turns and the little doilies and then this path right here. That is such a nice touch for this island. And the heart-shaped ponds. I think I'm gonna have to walk through the flowers, so sorry. So if you are looking for an island that is pink inspired and super sweet and cute and reminds you of all the wonderful sweet like stuff that you see at bakeries like cupcake shops and stuff, um, this is the island for you. And we did not open the presents, so I'm going to run back to the front and go find the present booth because I didn't unwrap them yet. And we want to see what she's left for us. Did we go up this way? Oh, yes, that's where my canopy bed is. I have a pink canopy bed. Okay, let's open these gifts and see what she has left for us. So some um, creators will leave presents for you on your... Um, on the island for you to wear. And I think that is such a nice touch. Oh my heavens. Oh, how cute. Don't I look adorable? I love this outfit so much. How sweet. And there's Easter eggs on that tree. There it is. There's Easter eggs right there. All right, everyone, this is the end of our wonderful tour, and I hope you enjoyed the Island of Pirouette as much as I did. Please like and subscribe and comment down below and hit that notification bell for uploads, and we'll see you in our next video. All right, bye.